Hello and welcome back to our Matty Ferguson archive series. Mood setters were all the rage in the 1980s and the one you've just watched, made by MF's audiovisual department, gave us a taste of a brand new range. In fact, in 1985, MF released two new ranges at the same time. The 300 series, which we feature in this programme, and the 3000 series, of which we have some wonderful films for you in volume 24. The 300 series was designed and developed in Coventry and was intended to meet the expectations of the utility farmer, usually the farmer with quite a modest spread who wants a low-cost, economical workhorse for his farm. The 300 was similar in concept to the 200 series, a progression of the complete model utility tractor offering a huge range of specifications, including both four-wheel and two-wheel drive. The choice was so comprehensive that it ensured the user didn't have to settle for a higher or lower specification than he needed. Based on MF's shared successes of the past, the new 300 series range evolved as the universal tractor of the late 80s and 90s. Our first film is particularly interesting as it demonstrates a new generation of tractor called Range 3. It was presumably called this in its prototype stage and the, the machines we see in the film are very much field test models. But the message the film homes in on is of MF's advanced thinking behind the future needs of the farmer. So here is Range 3, Dawn of a New Tractor. Range 3 developed from a 1980s study to determine the tractor product line which would be required to meet future market trends and farm practices. The major factor which emerged from the study was that the most significant worldwide growth sector is in the 60 to 100 din horsepower range and that the sector divides into two, each with distinctly different customer characteristics. <laughs> 